Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to my channel if this is your first time dropping in. Well, it's May 30th, uh, 2021. I made it to the Black Rock Playa, uh, a little bit down uh, the road behind me there is where uh, Burning Man is. So uh, I thought I'd give you an update. I've got my spot for tonight, but uh, the way the clouds are right now, it, it does not look favorable. And also something I didn't take into consideration is there's a lot of dust in the air. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm a beginner. And, you know, maybe environmentally, I uh, shouldn't be bringing my uh, scope and camera and optics out in this dusty of an environment. Uh, because what this playa is known for is for people love to drive up and down it. Um, we're about three, four miles north of where the Burning Man uh, city gets built in, in the fall time. And I actually drove up to it. I came in the three mile access point. There's a three mile access point, an eight mile access point, And I came in the 12 mile access point, came back this way to find my site for the night. But um, the trip is not a total waste. I'm gonna be out here tomorrow night. I'm gonna pick my wife up. She's up in the Reno area on a girlfriend's weekend. Uh, also, I got my Massimo uh, 50 amp hour, 500 watts uh, power station. I tested it out with my um, Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance. Uh, it, it works. I did some scanning, uh, you know, I set my mount up in uh, inside the house and I was, you know, had it uh, had it uh, tracking, uh, you know, a false target just to have it use power. And I had uh, the camera hooked up to it. Um, and uh, it seems to be performing okay. The power box advance says uh, that you want a 10 amp uh, power supply. Uh, the Massimo 50 amp hour, 500 watt power station is only at eight amps. So until I do a night of uh, imaging, uh, I'm not going to be able to uh, really uh, give it a, you know, my certification in the sense. Uh, but I have it, and uh, hopefully if the uh, weather forecast is a little bit better tomorrow night, um, we'll be able to get some imaging in. Uh, but the good thing about this trip, and I'll do some videos around it, it forced me to uh, prepare everything uh, for the field and uh, between the Jackery and the Massimo now I think I might have a good field power solution. I'll definitely be doing more uh, about that. Uh, the power box, uh, pocket power box advance, it's a pretty slick uh, device. Uh, Dave Teague, uh, thank you for helping me understand uh, how to mount it on uh, my Xenostar uh, Z61. Thank you for putting those images up on, uh, on my uh, Google Drive so I could visualize uh, how you did yours. I really appreciate that. Um, and um, I updated all my software, so I will uh, share with you what I had to update, including the off the Pegasus Astro uh, website. Uh, the ASCOM uh, 6 driver was important because initially, uh, the port for my uh, HEQ5 uh, was not being recognized uh, by either uh, uh, Carts to Seal and, and the other pieces of software uh, and Nina. So anyway, I just wanted to give a brief update. Uh, it's beautiful out here. It's about 89 degrees, but it's a dry heat. Um, I'm glad I came out here. This may not have been the best remote site for me to uh, pick because of all the particle uh, and dust in the air. So those of you that have more experience, uh, maybe you can share with me, uh, uh, you know, am I kind of crazy for bringing my telescope out in, in this environment? Uh, but clearly I've got a fantastic view of the uh, sky in a 360 degree uh, uh, range. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, what I had wanted to image tonight, if it was available, the, uh, the uh, Pelican Nebula, and the North American Nebula would have risen in the um, in the Northeast. Uh, right now, 
uh, my solus is pointed north. Uh, north. Um, but uh, I'm really not disappointed because I learned a lot just getting ready for the trip, getting ready to do uh, um, imaging at a dark site. And uh, of course, until I get my mount out and my telescope and get everything hooked up out here, I won't know 100% that I brought everything that I needed, but I think I got everything that I needed. So um, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, uh, getting out to dark sites. Um, and uh, if you happen to be in the Western United States, uh, uh, let me know. And uh, Barth, uh, Raj, if you do make it out to Salt Lake City, let me know. I'll uh, drive the Solus up and, uh, and uh, I'd love to meet you in person. Uh, but uh, I think uh, in this camera over here, maybe there's a view of a car driving and, and the tremendous dust clouds that get, uh, that get put up in the air on the playa. Anyway, uh, I'm at the Black Rock Playa in northwestern um, uh, Nevada. Uh, Clear Out, an app that I use from FLO, uh, says this is a Bortle 1 site. So that tells me it's really dark. I'm looking forward tonight, even with the clouds, uh, to see what it looks like. Uh, and maybe at the last minute, they'll, uh, they're, they'll clear out and, uh, and I'll wind, wind up setting things up. I guess, uh, you know, as the night comes along, maybe people are not driving as much on the playa. So anyway, um, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I welcome new subscribers. And even if you don't subscribe, I appreciate you dropping into the channel, uh, sharing some comments, helping me as a beginner uh, get up the learning curve. And also there are other uh, beginners as well that are uh, tuned into this channel, so you help them as well. And uh, thanks again, Dave, uh, for helping me understand the best way to mount my uh, uh, my uh, pocket power box advance. I, I may Velcro it in, in the interim. Uh, that was my plan for tonight because I don't have the proper screws and I haven't flipped things around and all that. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks Dave, I really appreciate it. So really, uh, this is a beautiful place. Uh, and other than that, till next time.